Alright, so in this video we're going to cover apps to SD, which is standard. I mean, not standard, but it comes with Froyo and Up versus Link to SD, which is available on basically all Androids. Alright, so first, it's not going to be a very detailed video, but it's going to be, a, it's, I'm going to tell you like, uh, what's up with it, you know? Well, for starters, the thing about apps to SD is that it's only available on Android 2.2 and 2.2 and up. So basically, if you have 2.2 and, and less, your um, Google is basically like your foot. <laughs> you know, that's basically it. And Link to SD, however, is available on basically all of them. No matter 3.0, whatever, whatever the fuck you have, you it's there. You can have it. All right. It, and if um, if you want to find out how to there during the the course of this video, if you want to find out how to do the whole link to SD, uh, I have a video on my channel called "How to Move Apps to SD on Android 2.1 or Less." It works on 2.1 and up, but it, the video is pretty much meant for people that don't have links to SD. So. Yeah, go check it out if you want to try out what I'm talking about right now. Because I, I find it better than what this is. So, for starters, let's, let me just show you something that, that I hate about apps to SD. And, as you see, I downloaded a few apps right now. Alright. See, the thing about this is that I really hate, I guess. And I don't know if you, you can see the app, but... I'm pretty sure you've seen the app in the commercials about uh, with Geico, the one about the little talking sh shit that I'm not going to show you right now because I'm not going to waste my time or your time for that matter. But uh, look it up on the Android Market Bro Stash. It's it's a, it's a pretty funny app. But the thing about it, all right, look, see, since these these. So the thing about since these aren't um, big files, you could say um, you can see it's only like a few kilobytes of memory on your phone. But the thing is, they're still on the phone. You get me? So when it comes to a big ass app like let's say Angry Birds or whatever, uh, it takes about two or three megabytes on the phone, and I don't like that. You know. The point is of apps to SD is to have the motherfucking app on your SD. You get me? And the thing with this is that when it went on with links to SD, that's it's all on it. As, as uh, this one right here, Angry Birds Real, like it says 15 megabytes or whatever, but it's all on the SD card. It's not. It has nothing. Like not even one kilobyte is on the on the on the phone you get me or like let's say if you don't like when it comes to a browser which I don't have none right now uh, well let me show that a little bit later but as you can see these two files are on my SD card I just downloaded them they went to my SD card but it's still taking up some memory and the, and the thing is the bigger the bigger the the, the, the bigger the, the application the more it's gonna take up on your memory and eventually you're gonna it's gonna give you that little internal memory shit then I don't like that all right and before I continue let me just I forgot to turn off the display so that'll take off a lot of the blur in the video all right anyways um yeah like I was saying let's check it out and the thing I was going to say about browsers, you can see it right now. Um, let's say something like Facebook or none. Not even Facebook. Something that's that. That's a, since I don't have any browser, I'm, I'm just going to have to use it, man. Fuck it. Whatever. Alright, let me just remove the link. Put it back on my phone. Alright. Alright. So the thing about it is that when you create your link to the SD card, you could you could um, link the whole application, the library files, or just the cache or cache or whatever the fuck that shit is called C A C H E. You know that shit that your browser downloads 
I mean saves when you're browsing and stuff like that you could choose that let's say you don't want to move the whole app to her SD card but you want to move the cache or the cache or whatever in to the to the SD card instead you get me so like you still have the application on your phone but it's not um, the the cache is not um, draining your internal your internal memory so that's another reason why I prefer links to as link to SD over apps to SD and as you can see um, the thing about this is that link also with link to SD um, uh, even if uh, an app is not SD compatible you can still move it and with apps to SD you can't another thing about uh, link to SD is widgets you can move them to your SD card so I don't have any widgets to show you right now besides that one right there which allows me to put like two where one is supposed to be like it could be like I don't know ten but it's not really worth it um you could put widgets like live widgets or whatever on your SD card and they still work absolutely can't do that so that's pretty much a, a big ass fuck you right there so uh, there's there's a lot more pros that you'll figure out once once you actually get links to SD so I really recommend getting that over just staying with the standard uh, apps to SD I know Froyo could do apps to SD and I was actually very happy when I first heard that but the thing is that once I had be, before I had apps to SD I had links to SD and I really loved it I was expect I was expecting a lot when I got apps to SD and I was very disappointed so the point is um you know what just it if you want to have a lot of internal memory so you never get that little fucking shit that says oh you're running low on memory or whatever fuck I suggest just switch your phone um watch my other video you're gonna have to get raw manager and partition your SD card I do it I have since I have a 16 gig I do one gigabyte so I could pretty much download um basically I could just basically just fucking download all the apps on the Android market and it won't get it won't get full so yeah that's my little I guess short little pro and con video uh, in a way persuading you to get links to SD I guess you could say that I'm pretty much telling you hey go get links to SD but th th that's just my opinion you know you you may actually like the fact that it leaves a little bit of, uh, of the file on the on the on the phone I, I personally don't uh, also a little thing I hate is the fact that for Angry Birds or like some other some other files like let's say if I put it through apps to SD on my SD card sometimes when I reboot my phone or whatever it doesn't appear and that gets on my nerves you know I it does, on the Evo um, I didn't have that I don't know if it's just because this is not a very high-end phone or whatever but it, 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 it gets on my nerves you know that I have a fucking file and the way I have to open it is I have to go to the market go to my apps and then click open that 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 seems pretty much retarded when when links to SD leaves the file there, you know. But you know what? That's just my opinion. Uh, if you use links to SD, you'll find your your more your some more pros. And oh wait, before 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 I end it, I also forgot to mention another pro with links to SD. So just make, just be sure I'm not bashing on that on apps to SD or whatever. I'm just letting you know this one's better. They're both good, but this one's better basically. And um, ah, you know what? I just forgot what I was gonna do. Yeah, god damn it. Well, uh, you can see the little storage. It tells you how much internal memory you have, how much is free on the SD, and how much on the second partition. But now that I'm gonna end it, anyways. I guess you could say, like I said before, I guess I'm trying to persuade you to, hey, get this is better. But what I'm, what I'm trying, basically trying to do is, I'm, I'm trying to make your Android experience a lot easier. And in this case, um, getting linked to SD, it's, it's better, you know, because the fact is, you could plug in your Android phone to your computer, and you can still use your apps, you know. 
that's one thing I really hated about apps OSD that I plugged it in and out of nowhere like most of my fucking apps are gone I'm like what the fuck you know like like come on man I can't I can't I can't use my fucking apps when I have my phone plugged in like what type of shit is that you know but yeah you know what that, that's just my opinion um uh you uh I guess you could differ I, don't, I really don't care you know that that's your opinion you might find something better you know what in fact if if you find that hey I was kind of unfair in judging it just I guess comment below have I guess a little discussion with other people I guess I really don't care but you know what do your thing but that's just how I feel and I'm letting you know that in a competition versus apps to SD versus link to SD I'm pretty sure link to SD will win it has a lot more features and that's just it's just better you know so I'm just letting you know link to SD wins um, you have a, if, if you have if you find a pro about apps to SD that I didn't mention that maybe links to SD doesn't have or something let me know and I'll, and I'll take that into consideration and shit but basically a link to SD versus apps to SD links to SD wins <laughs>